Hello from all of us at Translate Press. I'm sure you've already heard of Google Translate and DeepL before. They're the highest rated translation service providers available to date. Today, we will compare the two in a few key areas to help you choose the one that's right for your automatic website translation needs. Let's start with the languages they support. When it comes to supported languages, Google is the clear winner here. DeepL originally started out as a service exclusively for European language pairs, but it has expanded since then, offering support for over 24 languages worldwide. Google Translate, on the other hand, supports over 100 languages. If you need common languages such as Spanish, Chinese, Russian, Portuguese, and so on, then you should have zero issue between either platform. But if you want support for languages such as Vietnamese, Hindi, Hebrew, Thai, and many others, then Google Translate is the only option. How about translation accuracy? Based on a study done by DeepL in 2020, where they've translated 119 paragraphs across their platform and their competitors, and also the general sentiment around the web, DeepL's translation seemed to come across more natural sounding. This is especially true for those European language pairs we've talked about earlier, where DeepL is more capable of translating local idioms or slang and is a bit better at translating the actual meaning and tone of content, versus Google's word-for-word translation that, although technically correct, still sound a bit awkward or lack context. Now, let's talk about the interface. As you can see, they're quite similar. They both have two boxes, one that you can input your desired text and another one that gives you the translated version of it, and the language switcher at the top, from where you can change the language you're translating to, or even the language of your inputted text, in case the auto-detect language feature got it wrong. There's also a dictionary at the bottom that can help you better understand the text you're translating. They both have a document translation feature available, where you can upload an entire document and it will auto-translate the content. And the last feature that's unique to Google is the option to instantly translate an entire website by simply inputting its URL. Now, let's talk about the apps they provide. DeepL has apps for both Windows and OS X, alongside apps for Android and iOS, whilst Google only offers Android and iOS apps. Desktop users will need to stick with the web interface. However, if you're watching this video, you're probably more interested in the API integration that both DeepL and Google Translate offer. With Translate Press, you can use either of them to automatically translate your own website. You can activate your automatic translation by going from your WordPress dashboard to Settings, then choose Translate Press. From the General tab, pick an additional language for your website and click Save. Then go to the Automatic Translation tab and switch Enable Automatic Translation to Yes. Here you can choose Google or DeepL depending on your preferences. After you've settled on your provider, you can insert the API key here. If you need help with accessing your API keys, you can check the videos on how to generate a DeepL or Google Translate API on our channel. You can even limit the amount of characters you translate daily if you want to make sure you don't accidentally go over budget. Next, Let's talk about pricing. Both Google and DeepL offer a free tier of 500,000 characters per month. Their pricing scheme is a bit different, I leave the links in the description, with DeepL having a monthly fee to access the API regardless of character count, versus Google that only charges for the amount of characters translated. Your monthly cost based on character count with either provider will look like this so Google ends up being the cheaper option. In conclusion, the right tool for the job is more related to your needs. For the languages that it supports, DeepL is regarded to be a bit more accurate than Google Translate. However, DeepL has a limited language selection as compared to Google and also costs more money. So if you need a language that DeepL doesn't support or you're on a budget, Google Translate might be a better option. Regardless of your choice, you can easily use the APIs they provide with TranslatePress to effortlessly translate your website. For more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like if you found this video useful. For more information, be sure to check out our documentation linked in the description. Thanks for watching.